College of Agriculture is stepping out. They're really providing leadership about how business will be done in the future, not only at Kansas State, but in every part of higher education. You know, the interdisciplinary piece of this, and people say, well, why aren't they just build it to make the College of Ag better? Because it's not about the College of Ag. It's about an industry, it's about a state, it's about a country, it's about a world. The leadership in the College of Ag has realized that if we step out and we bring the, the best ideas out of business, out of engineering, out of vet med, out of arts and sciences, all the different disciplines, if we bring all that together, education, et cetera, if we bring them all together, we can solve those problems. And I think that's something I wanna credit the College of Ag for doing. So the Ag Innovation Initiative is more than just a physical building. So you can almost think that it's kind of this circular thing. It starts with an idea that is not physical. It informs a physical space, but then that physical space changes behavior. So, you know, at its core, we are looking at the opportunity of improving our physical infrastructure at K-State in the ag and food space. But they're being designed in a way that we're looking at for the collision of ideas, that we're putting departments and colleges and people together in new configurations, uh, co-locating offices, sharing equipments and labs. And so the physical space is designed differently. So when people encounter that space, their lived experiences in those buildings change. So you go from a physical space to a live space, and that live space changes our behavior and our actions and even the feel of our work from a day-to-day -day basis. This is what uh, land-grant universities uh, do. We innovate, we collaborate, we advance uh, the field of knowledge. With that comes uh, breakthroughs in, in technology and those are going to be important tools in terms of solving the real world problems across food and agriculture. You take the effort in digital agriculture and advanced analytics, it's exactly that. It's advancing science in the field almost daily in terms of new technology that's coming about and being implemented. First and maybe the most important is uh, echoing or uh, repeating the fact that we do appreciate their support because of uh, the way that they tell us what they need and what are the strengths and the voids in our program, we are able to uh, grow bigger and do better. And because of the financial support and all the fundraising goes with the innovation efforts, we are now at the position of rebuilding whole infrastructure in the best possible manner, in a futuristic and forward-looking manner, and keep providing the support back to them by creating you know, innovative research, but also creating those high-talent individuals and filling the pipeline, which eventually you know, help the industry to identify the right individuals for the right tasks in their, uh, in their domains. Because uh, I think it shows that K-State cares. It shows that K-State is trying to be innovative. And it honestly shows that K-State is trying to become like the best college of agriculture that is in the country. And I think that shows a lot of growth in like where we started versus where we're going. And I think that right there and that growth is gonna draw new students. Plus, I think everyone likes new shiny things. I like new shiny things. I think it's really, really cool. And students seeing that and getting to interact with that, I think is going to really draw their attention to the school. Well, K-State investing in the uh, Ag Innovation will help our students mostly to prepare themselves for the, for the true world, I would say. You don't have to learn only about your domain, but you also have to learn about others, learn how to communicate, learn how co to communicate your own work and how to understand other people's work. So I think that will make them much more complete for the labor market. The reality that it's actually starting, that uh, we've had our groundbreaking, that there's planning discussions in place with the architects to actually get the designs in process, um, 
but it's already created a significant buzz and stir. So as, as I make my rounds uh, across our plants, uh, interact with our customers, there's a conversation that wasn't there before around what Kansas State is doing for the future. What's most exciting is this unique position Kansas State serves in the food and ag space that no other university really across the globe can. Obviously starting with the genetics and the agronomy um, all the way through the manufacturing side. So the grain science department is this unique cog in the wheel that positions Kansas State to do something that no other university can. And then on to the food science, animal science um, aspects that uh, are, are again world class here at Kansas State. Here are the buzz um, across the food space of what's going on here on campus. Um, and then to eventually see the new facilities, the new labs, all that new research that's gonna come out of those new spaces. Um, and again, I, I think the other part that excites me a lot is I truly believe the diversity that's gonna be attracted uh, because of the new facilities um, and, and the outstanding faculty that will be part of it.